This is the ballad of Bobby when he wasn't doing so fine. The ballad of when Bobby was blue. It's the old story of summertime with the days all lazy and full of sun. A time Bobby reckoned he'd really be having fun. Boy, Roger, this is gonna be a fun summer. Me and Uncle Ted will be swimming all the time. Sorry, Bobo, no can do. I'm gonna be working all summer. Got my hands full too, Bobo. I'm launching my new line of novelty beach shoes. Oh. You're right, Roger. Uncle Ted is the only person in this family I can have fun with. Forget it, dweeb. Even if I did want to hang out with you, which I don't, there's no way. I gotta go to summer school. Well, I guess I can have fun with Kelly. No way, Bobby. I am going to be too hectic with my part-time job at the mall. <laughs> Can you believe it? I am going to be fully in charge of sprinkles and condiments at Sophie's Soft Yogurt and Dogs. <laughs> like, talk about cool. Oh, this is terrible, Roger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have nothing to do all summer. And nobody to do it with. Well, how's about looking after those baby brothers of yours now? They're, yeah, I've got to keep an eye on the TV. <laughs> They're about to announce the winner of the Love Me Tender Chicken Chunk Sweepstakes, don't you know? You guys are okay! Just shut up! Well, for screaming in the sunshine here... No, you two just fight! Then I thought you were supposed to be helping me, Mr. Manzi. And here all you do is go and cause more of a gee golly ruckus. Sorry, Mommy. Sometimes it's best to make an appeal for sympathy. Oh, for big mouths and wire hangers, hon. I didn't mean to shout at you like that. It's just that your old mom's feeling a little uh, gee golly wound up right now. You know, having my salute to Elvis chicken slaw recipe win that sweepstakes. Oh, well, uh, it would just be the biggest moment of my whole gee golly life is all, don't you know? Well, oh, maybe not bigger than the day I married that sophisticated debonair father of yours. <laughs> but winning would still be pretty darn big, if you know what I mean. Mom, they're like doing it! No! And the grand prize winner in the Love Me Tender Chicken Chunk sweepstakes is Martha Generic and her salute to Elvis Chicken Chunk Slaw. I won. I won. I'm standing here. I don't believe it! Yeah! Yes, for Martha! Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now, our lovely Love Me Tender spokes, Chick, <laughs> will help us find out what Mrs. Generic has won. That's Generic! Don't you know? Is it a brand new sports scar? Yes, yes, yes! Oh, too bad. No, no, no. Okay, how about this? Five fun-filled days and four sleet-filled nights at the Diamond Spur Dude Ranch! World famous for their mile-long all-you-can-eat buffet! Martha, we're going to a dude ranch! Dude ranch, yeah, sounds good. A ranch for dudes? Yeah. We raise the finest free range dudes in the world here. No, Bobby, that's not it. You see, a dude ranch is a place out west where everybody can be a cowboy. They can? Golly Ranch, don't you know? Huh? What, we're not? The ballad of when Bobby was blue. Yeah. To a dude ranch Bobby wanted to go. But now it looked like Mom was gonna say no. Oh, it was the ballad of when Bobby was blue. <laughs> But we gotta go to the 
the dude ranch. I need to be a cowboy. Well, now be that as it may, Ski, young man, we've got some problems to work out first, don't you know? You want to talk problems? I think we're out of chips here. The sweepstakes rules say that we have to take the trip no later than next week. And, and next week is when I'm scheduled to monitor that new pants hotline I came up with. 1-800-INSEAM. That's right. A 24-hour-a-day service established by the pants industry. To answer all your pants questions. Oh, you're just pure uncut pants genius is all. But we see you all the time, Dad. Couldn't the rest of us go without you? Bobby, like, guy, try thinking about somebody else besides yourself for a minute. Like, what about me? I mean, I would like totally and completely and thoroughly have to rearrange my schedule at Sophie's Soft Yogurt and Dogs. Pickle, come here. Oh, I got you. Yeah, dweeb. And what about me? I gotta find out if my summer school teachers will let me do the makeup assignments for the week I'd be gone. Okay, but, but Mom and I could go. Uh, sorry, hon. That's a big and all. No can do, don't you know? The twins have the gee golly sniffles, and unless these little nurses completely unstuff themselves within the next 48 hours, I'm not going to any by gosh door ranch. And neither is anyone else in this family. Oh, bad news, terrible, terrible bad news. That's why Bobby was blue, who? Why Bobby was blue, who? I'm not gonna be a cowboy. I'm not gonna get any kids to be a cowboy. And now, the tragedy of what the Wild West became, all because Bobby's mom wouldn't let him become a cowboy. Because there was no cowboy Bobby to save the day, many a stagecoach robbery went unthwarted. Give us all your gold. This is a robbery, and it's unthwarted. Okay. Ow! That hurt! <laughs> if only Cowboy Bobby had been here to help. I'm so ashamed, being robbed by whims. <laughs> but is this man the one who should really be ashamed? Or should it be Bobby's mommy for not letting him be a cowboy? Bobby? Bobby, wake up, honey. Is it morning already? Uh, 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 and if it's morning, that means it's tomorrow. And you said tomorrow was when we'd know if we can go to the dog ranch. Well, we won't know that until this evening, don't you know? Oh, how long till we know it's this evening? Oh, I'd give it about 12 hours. 12 hours? said they'll give me makeup assignments. Like, nobody move! I have got great news. Sophie is like totally, completely, and thoroughly gonna let me go to the dude ranch! <laughs> yippee Kai, yay It's official! I found somebody to take my place at the Pants Hotline! Yay! I'm gonna be a cowboy! 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 Oh, hey, 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 for corn's sakes, Bobby. Don't go getting yourself all worked up in a foamy lather. Don't forget, the twins still have those gee golly stuffy noses, don't you know? Mm. Oh, no. I forgot about the twins. <sighs> Can't be a cowboy till the twins are unstuffed. Can't be a cowboy till the twins are unstuffed. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Bobby. World famous physician and unstuffer. I am just so stuffy. Party, Toga! Party! And now for Dr. 
Dr. Bobby's greatest challenge to unstuff the twins. Dr. Bobby has made medical history, ladies and gentlemen. He's unstuffed the twins. Unstuffed the twins. Unstuff the twins. Whoa, it's a gee golly miracle is all, Howard. When I got the twins up this morning, their little noses were completely unstuffed, don't you know? Dreams really do come true, Webley. I'm gonna be a cowboy! I'm sure glad you got to come with us, Uncle Ted. <laughs> Are you kidding? You know, I'm a guy who's never too busy to freeload in a joint with a mile-long buffet, Mama. Welcome to the Diamond Spur. My name's Surly. I'm the head cowpoke, and I don't take crud. Period. Now, this is a list of your ranch activities, and this here is a list of your standard ranch disclaimers. D d disclaimers Notifying you with the following. The ranch has no liability in the event that you or yours are thrown, gouged, bucked, sticked, stomped, or chafed during your stay. Hear that, dweeb? Gouged, bucked, stomped, chafed? That sounds great! Except for the chafed part. Well, Bobby had finally done made it. His dream was about to come true. But you know there had to be trouble to coming, cause this is the ballad of when Bobby was... <laughs> Um, uh, 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 don't, uh, don't you think you're driving a little too fast, Surly? I might, if I was some kind of city sissy boy. Well, here we are, 13A and B. You folks will be bunking in B. Everybody out. Well, my stars and garters. Well, see, a ranch is a place for cowboys, and cowboys gotta be tough. I'm gonna be a oh, cowboy. Let us start riding and roping as soon as we get unpacked. You won't be doing any riding here, bucko. Because we only got two rental horses and they're on vacation. They are? Well, of course they are. It's summer, boy. Besides, everybody comes here is rich. They bring their own horses with them. Oh, it's the ballad of when Bobby was blue who. Is it just me, or is that singing starting to be really annoying? Whoa, hi there. We're the Needlemans in 13A. You must be the B people. Yup, we're the generics. You and who? We're gonna be your neighbors. Swell. Hi, I'm Bobby. My name's Lance. Wanna be friends? I'll let you ride my horse. I was right. This dude ranch thing's gonna be great. See at the hoedown, Bobby. The hoedown? What's a hoedown? Uh, Mother, it is so totally weird wearing outfits you borrowed from, like, your hairdresser. Oh, and Bobby looks so cute in his old cowboy outfit that we found in his toy box. Oh, look, it's the Beverly Hillbillies in the Twilight Zone. Hi, Bobby. Wanna come and sit at the kids' table with me? Okay. Is everyone in your family a, a victim of poverty, Bobby? I don't think so. Who's poverty? Oh, well, my parents said that your family were a bunch of yahoos. They are not! Yahoo! Are they? Oh, oh Bobby, look what I've found. Now we can have that adventure you were looking for. We can ride like the wind over the open plain. Thanks anyway, Captain Squash. Is there a problem, Bobby? I have a terrible feeling in my tummy. I never had one like this before. I, I, I think, I, I think I'm shamed of my family. My friend Lance says they're yahoos. Yahoo's, Bobby, your family. The Generics are a fine people, decent and hardworking, big-hearted and kind. For goodness sake, Bobby, they drive a minivan. They are the American family. Yahoo's? I think not. I think not, too! Listen up. Tomorrow morning, there's going to be a rodeo and talent contest. 
guests are invited to sign up and participate. Unless they're too chicken. That's it! That's all show them my family isn't a bunch of yahoos. You signed us up for what? For the rodeo. Dad's gonna rope, and Uncle Ted's gonna ride a bucking bronco, oh, room and... Service, sir. Oh, I'll get back to you. Whoa, 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 not so fast, Bob. Oh! Rope? Rope what? I don't know, I don't know how to rope. Then you could train with Kelly, Dad. I signed her up for barrel racing. Whatever that is. Honey! You have any idea like what that was doing to my behind? Get serious! Hon, uh, we just can't go and do something like be in a rodeo. You know, I can't even imagine what could have given you such a dipsy doodle crazy idea in your noggin. I wanted to do it to show Mr. and Mrs. Needleman. They said you guys were a bunch of yahoos. We ride at dawn. Well, Mom had to watch the twins, and she said Bobby was too young. But the fight for the generic honor had begun. And Bobby figured this he knew, that soon he okay, wouldn't Bobby. be quiet, so boo-hoo. I hope silver. It wasn't long before Bobby knew he'd figured wrong. Sorry. Oh, just a Sorry. pain in the backside. Sorry. I'll get you for this dweeb. Sorry. Well, that does it for the rodeo. Now, it's time for the talent show. Did you hear that? This is our chance to go home with our heads held high. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, is this on or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, well, I'm Martha Jenna. Well, I'm gonna, Jenna Rick, and this is my son, Bobby, and we're gonna sing. Uh, wh what is it? Let's just sing about who we are. Yeah, oh, okay, well, why not? Hit it, huh? Hi, everyone. Ah! My name is Bobby, and she's my mommy, and we live up by the mall. Where's it at? My sister, Kelly, has lived but we're not that different from y'all. We might prefer a hamburger without all the hickory smoke, but our garbage smells like everyone else. We're, we're just plain city folk. folk. We don't have a farm with a big red barn that holds ten pigs or more. <gasps> but have I said I got an Uncle Ted and Jackie lives next door? We may not have an acre right beside a lake or a pond with frogs that croak, but well, life is great on the interstate. We're, we're just plain city folk. Bobby, let's palm them. Zoom up! Hey, Dad, can I ask you a question? What? What would you do if somebody told you your family were yahoos? I tell them it takes one to know one. I don't know. Oh. I wish I thought of that. <laughs> well, that was a great show, and we really thank you for watching. Show our thanks for them being such a good audience. Can we give them each a pony? Bobby, we can't give everybody out there a pony. Well, what can we give them? Well, we can give them uh, excitement. We can give them adventure, thrills, comedy. One-of-a-kind entertainment. They'd rather have a pony. <laughs>